Like we have a meeting, like a dream. A training session with Mr. Nero on, on the LMS. So it's for everyone. All right. Okay. I think you need to send the link to Tarfik. I don't think he has a link, but that's okay. Let me just go ahead with what I have to say. So what we're going to be talking about to, uh, with one another now is all about uh, logging in into uh, OES, um, setting up the OES, and making sure that uh, all the department, the colleges, the schools, the program are all well set up. So um, I'm going to be logging in now. I'm going to share my screen now. One minute. Um, okay, I've resumed. I need to quickly attend to something. Okay, so I'm sharing my screen right now. And then you can see me that I'm actually recording. This is the way, what I'm doing right now, it's just the same way you will use in recording videos i mean your audios i mean your uh your yeah. tutorials and this is part of content digitalization i was talking about this is part of content digitalization i was talking about okay so um let me move i i want to find out if any one of you have seen my uh, you can see let, I, I won't use oes directly i will use the the host Just um, website. I'll use the host website directly. Um, please, are you all hearing me? Let me know that I'm being heard. Yes, sir. So we hear you, sir. Okay, great. Okay. So, um, so number one, there should be a link here taking us to the LMS. There should be a link here. See, one of the things that the university wants to look at is uh, how the web, webometric, webometric of universities worldwide wants to look at is how, how exposed is your, your website? Is it, is it appreciable by the community? Can, how can they use it? So you have to do everything to always point it directly to your website so that the it on this website uh, can be can be high and when it's high that means that uh, uh, east, east side university will be getting a very high webometric uh, uh, grade we have most university in Nigeria have a poor grade that's why most of our students in Nigeria cannot go directly abroad and start working but one of the things that the university in Nigeria as NUC have been trying to do is to ensure that all the university in Nigeria are exposed. And so and the, one of the reasons, one of the good things that they have, boost us is that uh, they have an LMS that exposes everything online, which is OES. And more details needs to come on this. I know we've just started, but more details needs to come on, on, up on this uh, website. And also, there's, there's a need for uh, what we call a content management system to all the things that you have write, written here so that it can change all this should be changing so i think a content management system still needs to be designed for this but i'm not going to talk much about this i'm just going to take us directly to uh to the lms but what i'm trying to say is that there should be a link here like a button to go to the lms so i'm going to leave this i'm just going to uh, go to the lms directly which is um online this this is the lms for it see this is the lms for it and that means people can come in here and get here and get stuck let me know they know that anywhere they had they can actually receive lectures by the time they see this they will know that this is not a child's play so but um before i continue talking on this let me quickly speak a bit about the video conferencing that we are using because we are sending this as a we are, uh, as a training manual that the uh the school can actually start using can they can use so let me go straight to the so as we have here we can do a lot of things we can let me go straight directly i mean straight into the uh the video conferencing 
as we are here, we can actually, we can actually uh, teach. We can actually teach right here by opening the open share documents. You can see, and we have this already. I'm not connected to my pen. If I'm connected to my pen, I would have been able to teach directly. Uh, let me try and do that. Let me try and connect to the pen so that you guys can appreciate what I'm talking about. The pen is here, but I know not every lecturer, every lecturer that wants to properly do a content management system, that wants to be involved with content management system, uh, content digitalization, they will, they will not make it to, they will not even, they will make it, they will not even hesitate. They won't hesitate to quickly have this device for themselves and use it to teach their content, I mean teach their students. Uh, so one minute, let me quickly set up, trying to set up so that you can appreciate it more. So please, if you want to talk, if you want to say anything, just quick, do not, uh, just pause me at any point. You can all see my pen. So you can all see my pen. Can you all see my pen? Can you all see it? Yes, sir, I can see your pen. Okay, okay. So uh, one of the things we are going to be discussing today is going to be on, uh, on video conferencing. Conferencing, sorry, I have to increase that so that uh, um, I have to go back. Conferencing, okay, I think I'll pick something else. Let me come back here. Sorry, oops, sorry, I, I need to undo what I've done. Uh, where is the razor? Is eraser? I need to erase. Erase. Of oh, okay, one minute. Okay. Uh, let me just continue what I'm doing. Uh, what I'm trying to say, in essence, is that we can actually use the this. Because this is being recorded, conferencing. We are talking about we are talking about uh, the OES uni University. Okay. Um, Sorry, I lost you guys there. I lost you guys there. Uh, so let me go back. Um, can you all see my screen? Can you all see my screen? Blank. Your screen is blank. Okay, it's blank. Okay. Can you see it now? Okay, I can see now. Yes, now. Yes. Okay. And I'm clicking on open share screen. So I'm back to what I was doing the other time. So I pick on pen. Okay. I change it to white so that. Uh, uh, anyway, this is this is how to write on it. This is how to write. So the blackboard is just like a blackboard with a white pen, and you can do whatever you want to do with it. And so I'm going to leave here. I have my pen. This is my pen. But for those who don't have pen, if you have a tablet, you can easily use a tablet to to work on this. 
so um i will leave here i will just click on something else so if you want if you have a video you can share your video you have a video on youtube you just come over here let's say this is the video you copy this video and you um connect you know let me go back on my system we have a lot of things going on so you connect here and you share the video so automatically of course i forgot to do i forgot to can you see a video has been added i can close this can you see can you see a video has been added that's a proper way to add your video so i can you know can you can see all what's going on here i can use this to discuss i can close the window i can use this to discuss i can use this to share with people I can use it to do an illustration. I can I can even I might have even done a video because I like the way I'm creating the video now. I can as well create this video and replay it for them to to view. Aside the fact putting it on the LMS. So um let me leave this and then quickly go to something else. Of course, I can live stream, I can embed this in the website. Can you see the code? Copy this whole site. And put it on their, I mean, on the web. Maybe you want to broadcast to the whole world and you don't want it to communicate back to you. Or you just want them to be able to view it on the central page that you have. Just copy this and put it in the on the script on that place. This particular video we play, this particular room, they will see it, everybody will see it at the same time. So uh one other thing is um I can as well come here. I can add more security to the system. Like everybody's coming in, I don't want them to come. I've already enabled you that you must enter lobby. That's why you're entering lobby. But if I don't want anybody to disturb me with lobby or no lobby, I'll just disable this. By default, it is enabled. So I'll just disable this and people will just be entering anyhow. So that's another thing. You don't have to wait for anybody. So another thing is that I can add additional password because I don't want people, people know that I'm always coming to the purple B. If I don't want anybody to come to the purple B, I can just add, okay, uh, Shola Bangose. I've sent it to all the people in my group. Shola Bangose. When they come in and they are being acknowledged into, into uh, the lobby, the next thing they need to do is to uh, type in their Shola Bangose and everybody can now come in. It's a further security. And that's why OES is actually very secure. Else, one day you can imagine the whole university is shut down because of uh, because of our poor security um, uh, approach given by the industry. So we need to take note of all these little little things. So I'm going to be stopping this um, um, the the video that I'm playing. I'm going to stop it right away. Uh, and I can also record, but uh, the, the broad recording that goes to maybe on one drive or whatever, I mean, they have specified they want to be recording their stuff, has not been enabled. When they are ready, we will enable it for them. So, um, let me stop this video for now. So, I'll stop the video. So, um, I will leave this. I think that is all. I can break into rooms. Uh, break like different room session we can break into rooms here also that's also one of the uh, benefit that you have um, you can invite more people you can check the performance I know you guys must have checked all this um, you can um, select it of course I know you are using uh, all this one you're already using this one so uh, but, the, for the, but the benefit of the people who are going to be getting this content I mean, got, getting this particular video later, you can, you know, set background. You can, uh, I've talked about the suppressed voice, noise. If they are so noisy, to suppress it. It's only your no voice that will be coming out. You can share audio. If it's just audio you want them to hear. Um, you can also, you know, uh, check, do a full screen or reduce it. There are more things that can be added to this. Yeah, re the recording part, like I talk about, is here, but some things have not been uh, initiated, have not been um, activated. This can also lead to a broadcast. I can actually do a broadcast from here also. 
So that is all about the video conferencing. And this automatically, when you use OES, automatically this is embedded in OES app as a whole, as big as it is. And where are you going to be using it? You'll get to know about it. I don't want to jump. Just know that it's in, as you're creating your lectures, you're creating this video room. Instead of me quickly just creating OES teaching, uh, OES training, it's already created based on my username. Uh, Omotaya, if you have Omotaya 123, your user, your room is going to be Omotaya 123 on, on the AR, on the OES interface. But I'll pause on that. I'll go, I'll take it right away into OES uh, application itself. So, um, so if you have a question, please ask me right away. Uh, no, I'm not going to into OES. Um, I want to go into OOST because we are sending this to OOST uh, host, um, University, uh, which is online. Okay, so this is like this is their link. In fact, the totality of the system is also here, so you can all the features that is on OES, you can also have it here. So we should mind, we should note that. So now I'm going to be logging in as a registrar. Everybody, majority of the people that have T, uh, they have their role. Every the system is a role-based system, so it's the same login interface. There's no need of going to this place to log in or the the login interface for the students like this. No, everything everybody comes in here and they log in. Even the VC, even the uh, vice chancellor, but their role is what differs. Their privileges, the, what they see differs. So I'm just going to log in as the registrar now and um, we'll take it off from there. For you to be able to log in as a registrar, registrar. okay, let me log out first. Let me show you a super user view. I need to show you a super user view. You have a super user view and which is um, the person sees everything. Okay, this is still university administrator. You can see the row at the left hand side. Um, I would like to log in into, okay. Okay, so you can see. Can you see it has more? You can create additional school inside. You can create additional school inside this school inside this application so it can aggregate can you see it can aggregate all the schools all the users there are more things that can be pushed out here this is just few they are just pushed out there are only four users and there are only four schools here this is also useful for university automation we have another application that deals with that but oes takes everything has everything inside it now this is the qr code that I was telling you about, you can generate it. But even this is for generating for external thing. Maybe you want to do some things outside, but automatically the system is wired to generate the QR code by itself without using this one. So you don't need, you need this one that if, uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll disable it from here because everybody that needs QR code already has gotten QR code once they sign on, once they sign on. So I will leave this interface. I just want to let you know that it has a super user interface. And you can see that I'm only just looking, I'm only just using one, uh, one uh, login interface to log in. You understand? Not if it's obvious what people create around now. So I'm going to use uh, the registrars, or I will use one of us, our own admin interface to log in. It's university administrator. It's university administrator. You can see the row at the left hand side. It's university administrator. You can see the row at the left hand side. There's a class here. Class means that maybe level one, level two, level three. You know, there's a class here. Um, this is the name of the university. This is the name of the product, the people that bought it, that owns it, that owns the portal. 
the people who are doing it for. Can you see it's customized for them? This is the dashboard of the application. You understand? And that will lead us to a lot of things. There's a lot of things that is eating here. There's a lot of things that is eating here. So for you to profile, you can't click on this. This is just to show you what's going on. For you to click, for you to get started with, uh, with the host LMS, you have four different areas. You have the student management system. I hope somebody is taking note of this. We have the performance management system, which is what you are looking at here. We have the stakeholders. Can you see my can you see my cursor? Can you all see my cursor? Yes, yes, sir. I can see it. At the right hand side. This is stakeholders relationship management system. That means it deals with all the stakeholders, the gatesman, the, uh, the chairman, the accountant, the updates. I mean, you want to, it's all the stakeholders in the university, all the people that have, but the little have been able to, issue, issue that is arising. One of the problems that we are facing in the country is that we don't store the issue that we have. We have. If we store the issue that we have, we only store it in our head, we will be able to, we will be able to plan and say, what do we do to avoid this issue? What is the issue resolution? Inside it, you see issue resolution. I'm just taking us, quickly taking us into this. You see issue resolution, the proposed issue. How is the issue solved? You know, but I, uh, I'll leave this. I'll just go back to the dashboard. I'll just go back to the dashboard here. So on this area, so performance management system, that's where everybody starts with this LMS. Let's say we are, you are the one giving it out to the school. This, everything you need to, anything, everything you need to do is just to put, put, uh, uh, customize the, 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 the performance management system to suit the school. And this does, it's not limited to university at all. It can be used, used for high school and secondary school and primary school or different individual school. But this interface, because you are a university administrator, Everything you're going to be seeing is going to be based on university. So, the first thing you need to do is to name, you, I mean, input your, your um, what's it called, your, I'll put this here, input your college. You can't update this because it's that same university. Although you might be looking at the university, but the code is inside. The code is what we send back for registration. Now, what other college do we have? Let's look at it. Let's go to the website itself. Let's go to the website. Where do I get the college? Okay, this is this are the college. Please, if you have any observation, do not hesitate to ask. Post me and ask the question. So this, I know I have not done this. Somebody is texting me. Let me see. Okay, this is not. Um, okay. So um, I want to make sure that so I have so many buttons. So um, I think this is this is where we are. I have copied the college. All I need to do is paste. But I, because all this is in small letter, we can change. I can delete everything. And uh, you you can go and you can profile everything. You understand? We don't like to release this for this edit is not active. But this delete is left there. We don't like to release this because if you, if somebody comes with that same rule and come on it, on it, you can delete all their things. So we always, it's always we are always skeptical in releasing this. But because this this rule is university administrator, that is why the person is seeing this. Else, if it's some other rule, you won't see it there. So 
let me type this according to where it is agriculture and i expected that we should have profiled this all for them so the only thing that is left for them is to so i'm going to delete this Okay, um, um, this color deals with, okay, these are the ones I did before. You can just say agriculture, life, and environment. environment environmental sciences let me just write it the way it is then what should be the cost code but well, i mean when i say cost code not really cost code it's supposed to be college code college code enter the college code it should be a l e s alice then every other thing remain the same then i select my capture and i create the college can you see it's already created? Hello? Hello, are we there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's already created. I've created, I can profile all the, but I don't want to do it. I, I, I want one of you to, I want you to demarcate somebody to do it in us. I can profile all the colleges within a short time. I've done for this, I've done for this. I've done this now. This is the only one left. So I'll leave this for one of you to do. You know, when you get there, you can always see the one that is left. Because they can actually start. What is expected of them is now is that they need to have started creating their content. At least for the first month. And I'm creating content like I am doing now. Do you understand? I'm creating You don't do already, like sir. What did you say? I can see like you've done three already, College of Engineering, Business Law and Agriculture. Like yes, and I've done three for you. I just, I just say, wait a minute, I'm not the one who's supposed to be doing this. So you can as well, they're meant to be creating content. And this is another way in which they can create content. Imagine before January, I mean, first week of January, they have over 50 videos that teachers can actually come over. They, like, the, the university has already started. And it's well documented because we started with them. So let me go back to this. Uh, I've done the co I've done the college. Now, on that college we have school. You can see that. You can see that the colleges are there. This one I just created. Hello. All I just need to do is, I come over here, I visit the college, you can see School of Agriculture. All I just need to do is copy this agriculture. I'll just do for one out of all this. That's all. Address is okay. Messi, Ekiti. Register. Uh, this is for regu for reg uh, for regular education. You can't pick this because it's a school. Faculty. Yes, it's a faculty. Principal. Who is the dean? That's what I don't know. Do you understand my point? But I'm just going to assume that it is, uh, what's, what's the name of that, uh, what's the name of the registrar? I just need the first name. Hello, Tayo.
the registrar name. I don't know her name. I can't remember. So I don't want to give a wrong information. But all this content, are the, they are the ones that are supposed to do it by themselves. We just need to train them. On okay, I, I have seen it. Man, you can train them on how to do it. I, well, that can be deleted. We can delete all those things. But if you don't do it, how would they know? So, yes, yes, yes. All right. So, so you can see. You see, I'm actually is asking. I don't even need to. I'll just use the same name. I'm just creating this. They don't have, they have so many things on their hand. So provided, I know sometimes if I come under the roof here, if I come under this and I visit the school, it should show me their website. It should show me the picture, it should show me the details. All I just need to do is to come over here. Copy this. And go back to this. Come over here. Faculty. What's the faculty name? The faculty name is going to be S O A or S A. What should we call it? Should we call it S A? S A. Let me put it S O A. What then so he is a school of agri Kabi? Agriculture. Okay. Sorry, sorry that I'm trying to bring you back a little bit, sir. Okay. I'm trying to fill in space for the other college, like creating the college. So I'm trying to create the other fourth college. But okay. I'm I don't know what you use for the descriptions. You know, your college name is Earth and Med Aligned Medical Science. So I'm trying to know what should I use for the description because I don't want to differ from this what you college deals with uh else you just mentioned the name related related uh service i mean this college is this college deals with blah 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 you just mentioned the name full stop no, no, no much story if they have another description if they want us to delete that and have put another description we can, they can put it there at that, at that time but i guess i tell you they won't have that much time they won't have they don't have time it's only the registrar doing all these things so you need to come at this and set this up for them for her okay no for her for them you know i mean for the school so that all what they're now going to be focusing on majorly is going to be lecturing and i want to believe that when we are getting the unshaking form unshake from the uh, from uh, the website administration all these things are also written the way we have written it all the schools they have written that way yeah. i want to believe that is so is that because all okay. this they will be referring to one another they will be referring to this they, all this will be referred to in order to pick the student and assign a particular department to that particular student. So now, number of staff, we don't know, but we assume, let me assume it's 20 for that department now. Or let me assume it's 12. This is not applicable. I, except if when next you go to uh, OK Mercy, get the, uh, the longitude and latitude of that location. All these things are going to be very important, very later on when the NUC are coming for them but they are already provided they don't have to come back and start doing people will say ah it's not it's not important you know but all this is important because i've seen it happening here with all the schools when the government are trying to track them or trying to do something with them but i will write any because we don't have it now not applicable the same logo for the school because the logo remains the same. I think I did a uh, picture. So I'm just going to use the same logo for the school. Um, so it's the same logo that I'm going to put here. You must have caught it. I think, uh, what's his name? Uh, Gospel has a logo. Just upload the logo online. I mean, I'll upload, get the logo somewhere and I'll just upload it for them. Country, Nigeria. Automatically, where uh, Ekiti the state. Don't worry about the error it brings out. Yeah, you wanted to ask about local government, but you don't have to bother yourself. Just cancel it and click on this. 
I'm not a robot and create a new faculty. So that has already been created. Although it switches to the dashboard. Go back to you can go back to your to your school, check it below. Can you see we have it? Can you see we have it? Hello? Yes, you can see it, sir. You can see that the School of Agriculture is already there. So yeah, now, there. after you have done this, you have profile for school. And you know, they, all these things I'm talking about, it has implication. You know, I showed you another uh, dashboard that shows you statistics. Okay, let me, let, me, let me digress a bit. This is what... This is another solution you have, uh, that has been built. I want to be a bit coded on it. Um, that has been built. You can see the score. If I log into this school, because they don't have OES, if I log into this school, you see what will happen. Hold on. It's coming up. I'm, so I'm doing a lot of things on the system, but it's going to pick up. It's picking up now. Can you see? Hello? Are you there? Hello? Sir. Yes, sir. Can you see yes, six? This is the whole university. You can see at the left hand side. This is the whole university. If I click on this, if I go over here, And I get the statistics for this year. This is what I, this is what I do with the school. I'm just saying you are, you're privileged to see this. So you have the end in mind. You have the end in mind. Can you see? This is all the things that Times Roman they want to know. If I, you can see the ratio of female to male. If I click on this, you see, this this is eventually what oh yes, OES has that inside. But I'm not exposing it now because I don't want them to be, you know, but they need to capture the needful. Can you see this? If you want to know whether a school is good or not, check its ratio of teacher to student. If a teacher, if one teacher is to 40 student or 50 student or 100 student, how will you be able to take care of all these students? No, it won't be, that's a poor school. That means it's poorly serviced. That means the rating will drop. So, can you see different department? But I don't want to just, let, let's go back to what we are doing. I, I'm just showing you this to let you know the capability of what we are doing with all the, 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 uh, the department, the, the, uh, the school. I've not created for department, though. Department also follows the same pattern. The university is the same. Of course, because it's school. You just come over here, School of Agriculture. Do you understand? The departments, you have all the departments already sorted here. If I view this, it should show me the department. Oh, department is even agriculture, agribusiness. Hello? Okay. Reality, so, sir. I just want to know that, that you're listening, you're listening, sir. I'm just trying to keep you just want to know that you're with me. So all I just need to do is the department name is going to be uh, let me see the pattern I use below. Okay, I can just type agribusiness. Agribusiness. This department this this department deals with agri business aspect of school of agriculture i'm writing that off and so that's not given to me and so what's the what's the um what's the the code is going to be a b 
agriculture is joined together a b if you like you can make a dab but of course make sure it doesn't clash with the one you have below so this is the university this is the code and all you need to do is sub create that department so that department is already created can you see you can delete it but i'm not going to delete because I, I know you guys don't have that much time so i can now create programs i've created the department i'm creating the program all i just need to do is drop down the, this is the most important thing programs under agribusiness that is not given i expected you guys to collect that but i know agribusiness will only give you the program is going, going to be bsc bng maybe b ag I don't know, maybe it's B Ag. What is their what is gonna be B Ag? Uh let me see the we have written B Ag or BSC in Agri. Hello, am I still on? Yes sir, yes, sir. yes sir. That's the program. And program code is gonna be Actually, program code should be what the person is bagging out with. Maybe B, because I've written BSC, I'll write, just write BSC. Then I can now say agri. This, no, I don't have to write it in. Agribiz, you know, I don't know how they want to write it, but in agriculture everybody's going to be BSc in agriculture you know because i've written agri here you know department code of course i know what the department code was my department code was what um we could make this i can actually improve this by making it a a drop down but i think it's um ag This is a cost code, a total, this is a program, this is a program in agricultural business sciences. I've already written it here. I picked this one. It's quite simple. I create a program. The program will also be listed here. Can you see? Now, each interface in OES is total. I'm going to be stopping the video now very soon uh, so that it can be short and it can be precise. The, v, uh, the, interface, the interface is like, when you're looking at this, this is a program management. You're not moving anywhere. Everything stays within here. And you can delete one of the things i didn't do is to give unit because i don't know the unit for it so automatically all this is going to be deleted this should have a unit i mean oh sorry this shouldn't have a unit but when you get to the subject it should have a unit this is total cost somebody can come to uh uh host and say they want i want to study agribusiness MSc in agribusiness. That's a program. So, um, cost. Now we are not going down into cost. Cost is like subjects. Different subjects. I can only talk, I can only mention, can you see, it's only the ones I have the program for that I'm dealing with here. So let me say, let me, uh, for level one, mathematics. Principle, I'm just principle of mathematics. Fundamental mathematics. Cost unit, NTH. 
101. Let me see. I'll put H there. Boost MTH 101. <coughs> semester. Semester 2. Because it's going to start next time. Semester 1 is this. <coughs> yes, sir. Semester 2. Is anybody asking questions? Yes, sir. The course you need, you put course code there. Okay. So there is another space for course units below. Okay, sorry, um, let me go back there. Oh, okay, course units. Yes. <coughs> it will have complained. Sure. Maybe two units. Eh? Well, mathematics is always very high, so let's say four units. Semester, just say semester. You write it in full. I missed that also. Semester two. The program, I'm, the program which is under, program name attached, then course code. School. I'm dealing with because can you see program is under this program is under this. I can't pick one I can't pick maybe I have mathematics is doing if I pick this one that means I have to use this. Do you understand my point? <laughs> okay, so um so all I just need to do is submit. It's already there, can you see? And you will need all these things later on. All these things you are seeing that have been preached to you. Oh yes, you will need it. The ID in the database and all, all the other things. Now, this at this stage, this particular one, this particular course subject, you will now see that there will be subunits. It's so detailed that under subunit, course scheme of work, if you come, I'll, I'll, I'll jump over a faculty member. Those are staff coming in and working on the system. But I'm going to pause here because can you see? Can you see this particular, all this link? Everything we've been doing before, it's all, if you don't want to be doing it one by one, just come over here and upload it. Somebody, I think somebody was out. Have you been able to take the person in? Hello? Hello? Can you all hear me? Hi, sir. Okay. So yes, sir. We can hear you, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, but it's something when we get to, we are now getting to where the teachers, the lecturers will be, it will be applicable for them. But all this detail that I've been mentioning must be profiled, pre-profiled for them based on what they have, based on what they have agreed on in their school. So it's this, it's this course then you will now have a subunit on. That subunit or submodule is now what the lecturer will now come and teach on. If you say you are doing mathematics, you must have profiled under the scheme. Introduction, can you see topic here? Mathematics, introduction to mathematics, indices. Blah, 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 blah. You understand? And the course code, the subject code, you type it here. The subject code that you have mentioned will all be here. Hello? If it's mathematics, the subject it, code is here. You can hear it, This course is like a subject, you know. It's H M T one O M T H one O one. You just type it there, because all those things will be linked later on. Now, at this place, at this place, this is used for bulk. If you know, you know, the subtopic will be so much. All you just need to do is come over here and download the template here. 
or you can create a template by saying school admin. I, I know Charles is very good with that because Charles has done a lot of that with me when he was actually with us in Lagos. So you, this is when you now profile all these things. Within a short time, you just upload it, everything will be formed. And I'll show you a typical course code, but I'll, I'll, but I'll stop here because I don't want to, all I just need you to do is in house now, I need you to delete everything and recreate it. You can delete all the college, you can start from the college and recreate it. Now, you know what to ask them. Because some of the things you don't have questions with too. You can do it for them. And she has power to be able to do it herself. If I want to delete anything that I've done here, you've done this twice, so what you need to just do is come over here and delete one. It will ask you if you want to take it off. That's it. Sorry. I expected that to, anyway. This is ongoing concern. You can always update that. So I'll, I'll look into what's happening here because it's been a while I've touched it, but it's just a matter of you coming here and deleting it. I'll make sure that this is operational. So, um, but for now, try and collate all the things that they need and put it together. So for faculty member, that's their staff in, but this is not really important. This is, in fact, we can actually silence it. This is not really important because uh, this has to do with, uh, this has been taken care of by, by the user. If you come over here, everybody using the system is under the user. Right now, these are the, these are the people who have been profiled. This is what I was saying that you don't need to start creating, it's generated by default for them, this QR code. All what you can do is come over here. You can even just do a screenshot and come over here, screenshot it, and copy it into the ID card. It will save it as a picture. Set it in your ID card. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Uh, please accept our parking. She's trying to come in. Oh, okay. Hello, Taufik. Oh, is it Tayo? Okay, Tayo, I was, I was saying before you, before, I mean, before you come in that every user on the, except the first one, I can, which I can delete, I mean, the admin person. And once you have the administrative right, you know you have their password. So you guys are liable. Once you have their, you have their administrative uh, detail. You see this. If it's a lecturer, they won't see this. But I'm showing you this because you are part of the people creating the system. Yes. So, this is a student. Omotayo, I've created you as a student now here. Yeah. I've created you as a student on level one. But I, I, I would just, I wouldn't want to load you too much with so many things. Let's stop where we are. But the QR code that you are talking about, everybody should go out. All they need to do is create a user on OES, and this will be generated. Now, for the people registering from the from this side, they don't have to come and so they doesn't have to come and create anything once they are coming from here, which is what Gospel is doing right now. There's going to be an API which I will send to them before tomorrow. There will be an API that will be sent to them. And once they get the API, they connect with the API, they post from their head as they are showing that this is their final list. As they are showing that and they are validating it, there should be a place that sign up and they want to do the final submission. Automatically, they will also post to OER, OES, uh, uh, OOST, LMS, uh, uh, API. 
which I'm going to append. That has not been appended, which is going to be appended to the solution. And so in so doing, the QR code will be generated for them automatically. I don't know what I'm making sense. This QR code is now when you, you want to now create your, wants to create your, uh, what, what's it called? You want to create the ID card, this is what you just, uh, is that that you screenshot it or you just cut it out by printing your screen? Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, let me tell you the implication of this. I have a, an Android phone with me. I have an Android phone with me as I am now. Oh yes, I have an app. So once they are on the mobile phone, once they are on the website, they are also on the mobile phone. So I'm going to log in on OES app. This is it. And you can download it online, OES teaching conferencing. If you look for that, I'm going to just down, I'm going to just going to log in. Hold on a minute. I've already logged in. And the school is going to show, the school logo is going to show at the left hand side here. Can you see? I know you can't see it very well. Can you see it? Hello? You can see it. You can see it. Okay. Once you click on this, it takes you to the lecture. It takes you to the lecture. Can you see all the, can you see the subject? It started from the course. It's straight to the point, from the course till you get the video. You can even watch video on this. But I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go out to the QR code part. There's a QR code session for the security people. There's a scanned QR code. Can you see, this is for you for scanning. By the time I put it on top of it, can you see? Can you see it's already picked it? So it's, it has shown me there are two QR codes, and it has minuted that the QR code has been picked, which will register automatically. Let me see whether that was enabled here. It's not enabled here. It's it's it should, but we will attach it to the attendance also. Attendance can also be done via the screen via, from this left hand side. If I click attendance, there's another. I, I've already done the attendance for the person that comes in already. If I come here, if I refresh, I think it should pick it up. But the attendance have been done. So um, I'll look into all those parts I've just mentioned now before we have the next session. But what I'm trying to say is that you have access to almost everything. I'll share this screen, the QR code screen with you. Uh, I'll, send it to the I'll send it to the main group so that you can see. But let me stop here. This great topic is the same thing as our uh, Cost scheme of work, but I will st we'll continue from here next time. So, um, because I'm recording this session, I don't want it. Be, I don't want it to be too long. I just want it to be too. I just want it to be one hour, exactly one hour, which is 59, so that we can process it and you can watch it like a video. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Do you have a question? Do you have a question? There's still a lot of things we need to talk about, but uh, which I will pause on now. Hello? No question, sir. Okay.
They said there are a few questions, so I'm listening. Uh, no questions from from us, sir. From me. No question from you, or from us. Listen. From me, actually. Okay, for you. Who said what they are? Uh, Dio. They are dealing. Is that you? I said no question. No oh, no question. Okay. All right. So yes, I don't know. Maybe we Hello, can sir. have. We can continue Hello, from sir. where we. Hello. Uh, okay, maybe when next we come in. I want to ask how many uh, 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 role are we creating? You know, you said about registrar, super, a super user, and then admin, admin role. Is this going to be that three? Are we, are we having more? Okay, so let me show you the system. Are this, if you look at this arc here, yeah, no, I know, I, I, I understand everything. The rules are already so set. I just wanted to add that. The rules are already okay. set. You can add to the rule. Uh, all right. Can you see the okay. rule? There's no school here. There's no administrator. If oh. there is administrator, just, I mean, if there is a, of course, I put an administrator there, but that means you can actually create a school. But there's no teacher here. That means everybody the okay. least you can have lecture. is a lecturer oh, then if you okay. now want to start having gateman role you know to check what they have done they can add gateman here but we only we have to set their privileges on what they can see so for now sir it's only five privileges that is the developer administrator university developer administrator, is like a super user. student and lecturer yes yeah, these okay. are the rules that are All there right. now all right, it's, it's clear. Uh, it's, it can it's, be extended. Yeah, if I show you OES, OES has a lot of rules. I know. I know so. But as time goes on, once you tell us what you want, I don't, for security purposes, that is why we have limited it to this five rule. As time goes on, we'll be increasing the rule when there's a need for it. Yeah. So let oh, me quickly show you how it looks. Uh, because we don't have content here, let me go to OES. And so I can show you. I know this is, uh, this training should be stopping now. But um, this is a particular administrator. This is not university interface. But I'll show you what you are, you're going to be seeing. This is for your school, normal secondary school. They can profile all their subject and what have you. And can you see what their own interface is quite different. It's little. It's not, it doesn't have all those uh, statistic uh, dashboard on top of it. And it does not have college. Can you see it doesn't have college. It doesn't have all those things here. If I come to the user, you can see. If I come to... Um, What's it called? Scheme of work. You see what I'm saying now. It's a scheme of work. Can you see their scheme of work is different? Can you see? Can you see everything is set? Yes. It is this that the lecturer will start teaching on. Because if nothing is here, nothing will show under the teacher teaching management. Can you see? Can you see here? Yes, it's one. Because he's an administrator, that's why he's seeing everything. If he's not an administrator, if he's a lecturer, okay, in fact, he can't see everything because the class is limited to yes, it's one. But if the class is multiple, he will see a lot of class, I mean, a lot of lectures. These are the lectures that the lecturer will just come and teach. This is where you profile the lectures that you have already captured. This is a statistic for seeing who have done what. All the lecturers will be listed at the left-hand side and the number of lectures that they have profile would be here. These are assets. Can you see the assets? This, you know, this asset that you are looking at, let me show you how you will see it. You can either see it from viewing the scheme here, or you go to student management system of OES. 
I hope I have not taken anybody. I've not sent anybody. Nobody is lost out of you. If you are lost, just let me know. <laughs> Can you see this is different? It's the same login interface. Can you see this is different? If you go inside the classroom, you see lectures already aligned. Because it, it has already been profiled. And that's what I was telling you as regards to the school, Purple Blue School. Not every now and then you say you are teaching. Once you have taught it, record it properly. Even before going for that lecture, record it. You can also have your school on OES. That's what I was telling you. Can you see the logo at the right hand side? This is a school. Can you see the application? But you can't do that with, uh, with these people, with this host, because it's strictly for, they have their own different school and their school is inside their university. But this one is a freelance. That's why, uh, this is what they are gonna end up seeing. You understand what I'm saying? If I go into the lecture room, you see, it's bigger. Can you see? This is the video conferencing for the lecturer that is coming in. This is another, it's actually in another room. This is where you chat. There's another, there's, so, let's stop for here. This is your notes. This, this is the notes. One minute, uh, tell me what I'm going to call you back. I'm going to call you back. This is the notes. You can see the notes here. So this is expected to have been completed before January 5. If you want to really harness the power of this LMS. And you guys are the one who can help them. So you have to understand what you're doing. You have to understand the capability. They say, it depends on you. The more you quickly go into, into it, if you see any error, you say, ah, please, let's quickly correct this. The QR code is supposed to show here, but when I started this application, I mean, when I, when I profiled this particular one, the QR code wasn't in existence. So that's why it's more or less that the QR code is, the QR code is meant to be printed. Each student is supposed to print his own QR code. You understand? Here. It's supposed to be here. But for some other people, if you look at Omotayo's own, or you see a QR code there because it's recent. So that's just it. And there are other AI, but I don't want to, let me stop the video recording right now.